In the vast expanse of the skies, the Chinese Air Force is quietly but steadily expanding its reach, slowly but gradually making a web of strategic air bases and advanced fighter jets. Like a dragon awakening, this formidable force is positioning itself to counter potential threats from the US and Indian forces over contested territories and make a claim of itself. Today's episode will uncover how the Chinese Air Force is slowly spreading its wings to counter the US and Indian forces over disputed regions and protect its interests. China's J-20 and Su-35 aircraft are central to the country's push for military modernization. The J-20, dubbed the Mighty Dragon, is a cutting-edge fifth-generation fighter intended to secure China's air superiority in crucial regions like the East and South China Seas and the Himalayas. Designed to rival top U.S. fighters like the F-22 and F-35, nearly 250 J-20S have been produced with over 200 operational. The PLA Air Force PLAF, aims to have 400 J-20S by 2027 and nearly 1,000 by 2035, showing China's ambitious plans for its air force. China, with its rapidly growing economy, can support such large-scale defense spending. The J-20 program is projected to cost around $30 billion, with each aircraft priced at approximately $100 million, according to the global data fixed-wing market forecast of 2022 to 32. This substantial investment highlights China's determination to enhance its global military presence, not just in the air, but also in maritime and space domains. This is evident in their significant investments in aircraft carriers aiming to project power far beyond their borders. It's well known that China has surpassed the U.S. Navy in terms of the number of warships. In recent congressional testimony, the head of U.S. Indo-Pacific Command suggested that China could soon boast the world's largest air force. The development of the Shenyang J-31, another indigenous fifth-generation fighter similar to the F-35, further exemplifies China's military ambitions. This aircraft will likely have a carrier variant, adding to China's naval capabilities. In addition to its homegrown fighters, China has acquired a squadron-sized fleet of Su-35S-24 aircraft from Russia. Some analysts believe this purchase was primarily for China to study and potentially reverse-engineer advanced technologies from the Sukhoi Design Bureau. These multi-role aircraft have been operational with the PLAAF since April 2018, stationed in Guangdong Province in southeast China, enhancing the PLAAF's combat capabilities. China's military air bases are strategically located based on long-term threat perceptions, with nearly 150 military-use air bases over 100 of which belong to the PLAF, China has a robust infrastructure to support its large air force of around 3,500 aircraft. The extensive network of air bases across various military regions and districts in China allows for rapid deployment and operational flexibility. Open Source Intelligence OSINT, and a large number of ISR intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance satellites make it relatively easy to assess the layout and assets of these air bases. This analysis focuses on the air bases housing the J-20 and Su-35. Let's talk about China's strategically based air bases and the advantages they possess. The 176th Aviation Brigade at Dingxin Air Base in Gansu, located in the Gobi Desert near Mongolia, is an experimental testing and training facility. It was the first unit to receive J-20 low-rate initial production LRIP aircraft. Part of the Western Theater Command, WTC, this airbase is often referred to as China's top secret desert airbase. Its large aprons accommodate operations involving over a hundred different types of aircraft. The base supports the development of tactics, weaponry, and advanced training in large force scenarios, including exercises like Golden Helmet and Golden Dart. Its isolated location and extensive free airspace make it ideal for major fighter and attack aircraft exercises. In Xinjiang province, the 111th Fighter Brigade at Kaula Air Base received its J-20S in 2022. These aircraft have been involved in exercises in Tibet and Hotan, showcasing China's ability to project power in this strategically important region. The 97th Fighter Brigade at Dazu Air Base in Chongqing, a 
dual-use airbase under the WTC also houses J-20A aircraft. Chongqing, one of China's four direct-administered municipalities, is a critical location for China's defense strategy, positioned relatively close to India's Arunachal Pradesh. In Anhui province, the 9th Fighter Brigade at Buhu Air Base operates the J-20 and is considered the premier fighter aviation unit in the Eastern Theater Command ETC, Air Force. Known as the Wang Hai Brigade, this unit has a long history of being the first to operationally employ advanced aircraft models. Its responsibility includes protecting Shanghai, China's financial capital. The brigade transitioned entirely to J-20S in early 2021, replacing the Sukhoi Su-30 MKK. The 8th Aviation Brigade at Changxing Air Base, also part of the ETC, received its J-20S in 2022. Located close to Shanghai, this airbase is crucial for operations in the East China Sea and the Taiwan Strait. The 41st Aviation Brigade at Wuishan Air Base in Fujian Province got its J-20S in 2023, adding to China's capability to project air power over the East China Sea and towards Japan. The ETC is a major operator of J-20S, with three brigades equipped with these advanced fighters. These carefully strategically placed airbases are good, and all but the question of the day is, will the US be able to rise up to the challenge and counter this rapid growth by China? For now, only the time will tell, but the rate of growth of Chinese Air Force tells you who exactly plans to come out on top. There are conflicting reports about some other units possibly converting to J-20SS. For instance, the 54th Air Brigade at Changxing Air Base, previously operating Su-30 MKK, and the 55th Aviation Brigade at Jinning Air Base Shandong have been rumored to switch to J-20S, but there is no clear evidence yet. The US might not be able to counter that. Most J-20S are stationed on China's eastern seaboard, facing the East and South China Seas. The priority is Taiwan unification, with the main threat perceived from the US and its allies in the West Pacific. Hence, the ETC and STC are heavily equipped with J-20S. The WTC, covering the entire border with India, also has three J-20 air brigades. Although the permanent air bases are somewhat distant from the line of actual control, LAC, J-20S have been seen operating in Tibet, including from dual-use airports like Shigatse. The PLAF is enhancing infrastructure and logistics support near the LAC to facilitate J-20 operations. The US Air Force is adjusting its strategy to counter the increasing number of J-20S on China's eastern seaboard. With the Su-35S also deployed in the STC, the US is moving more F-22 and F-35 fighters into the region. The competition will likely intensify with the J-31S becoming operational in the next few years. How will the US and its allies respond to China's growing air power? Will China's advancements lead to a shift in regional power dynamics? As China continues to expand its military capabilities, the global balance of power is working in its favor. With much about how the Chinese Air Force is slowly spreading its wings to counter the US and Indian forces over disputed regions and protect its interests covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.